Hi guys, so um, I have a lot of packages to open right now, and um, also something I bought today that has nothing to do with A-Zones or BJDs, but it's really cute, so I thought I'd show you. I'm not sure what you call her, but she comes in pieces, and you put her together, and she's super duper cute. Here's all of her pieces. She can move her head around. Man, her arms are hard to get on. <laughs> okay, this one. I thought this would be <laughs> a lot easier than it is. Well, I'm going to have to put her together later. So, I'll be posting pictures of her though. Okay. Now, the package I'm opening has my address on both sides, so I'm going to do it over here and pull out what it's, what's inside. Although I'm sure I've flashed everybody like a thousand times with my address. Oh, cute. Okay. These are the Pico Nemo shoes that I got. They're little black boots. Oh, yay. Okay, this is the white dress that I have for my Pico Nemo. So she's gonna look all stylish and cute.
with her white dress and little black shoes. This is the Obitsu body and the Parabox head that I got because my Asian girl body is driving me crazy because it's not very flexible in the hand joints and such. So I figure, hopefully this color matches, that I can use this Obitsu body to help her move during photos and stuff, um, and then normally I just keep her on her other body. That's where I got her from. And this is the pair box practice head that I got, which I'm really excited to play with. body with the hands that move, thankfully. So I'll be very, very excited to try this on her and see if it works for her and looks good. And that's all for today, so thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more, as usual, I'll be putting lots of photos up onto my um, Instagram and probably onto my Flickr as well. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye! So I changed my mind, figured I'd show you guys <laughs> everything. Um, so I put her together. Her arms were mainly the problem. They just didn't quite want to go in, but I think she is super adorable. And she's going to be going into Kisa's room, which I will show you guys in another video. And then... put on Kisa's new outfit. So here's her white dress. Which I figured I should have something white for her so that she does not stain undies. <laughs> Anyways. Um and then these are her shoes. Kind of hard to see, but I like them. I think they're cute. It's always good to have a black pair of shoes. And then, last but not least, all of the um, Obitsu stuff. So this is Kisa. I and this is not Kisa. Um, actually, I don't have a name for her yet, but this is my pure Nemo on her normal body that she comes with. And then this is the Obitsu body and the Parabox head that I got that is unfortunately not the right color. It's normal skin, not white skin. But it's fine because it's a practice head anyways, so I'll just be messing with it. Um, and then I also messed up with the body, which is awkward, <laughs> because it's way too small. Like, oh my gosh. It's itty bitty, so when I put her head onto the Obitsu body, she looks like such a bobblehead. It's awful. Um, so I have a random Obitsu body floating around, and I'm so, I am so impressed by how it moves. Oh my gosh. So I ordered her another obitsu body this time 27 centimeters in white skin <laughs> and hopefully the height will kind of make her look less bobble-headed and maybe a little bit more womanly which would be nice um so that's on its way and now i have a random body floating around which i might end up eventually getting a head for um if i find out that i'm 
decent at doing face-ups on the pair of box heads. Because it would be cute to have like a, a tiny girl to go with um, her. So, yeah. That is <laughs> that. Is that. Um, hopefully when it comes in next time I'll find that I didn't mess up. And hopefully the 27 centimeter body will fit her. Um, and that's, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Bye.